Welcome to Armor and Poise testing video, you all-knowing bastards. In this showcase I'll try to bring to you importance or lack thereof of Armor and Poise. Gonna keep it as simple as possible, even though Poise is not easy to explain and test due to invisible values that for baffling reasons from software doesn't want to make transparent. And I can't understand why, since it is RPG where number transparency is important. Not a smart approach to stubbornly keep resisting changing things that should be changed, but that is topic for another video. Let's get to it. You already know that light, medium and heavy loads affect dodging. Light offers most invulnerability frames during dodge, medium load average and heavy load least amount of iframes. First we are going to test armor values against giant with different modifiers like lighter versus heavier armor, then add talismans, attributes, buffs and so on. Health is set at 5000 for easier testing, but we are going to use more realistic number and calculate percentages if health would be 1000. Doesn't change anything. First test is against giant attacks without armor, buffs, talismans and with 20 strength and 10 intelligence. We are going in with these defensive stats without anything equipped. Your total damage reduction is combination of defense stat and damage negation stat. Defense number is increased through strength and intelligence attributes. Damage negation numbers are increased through equipped gear and buffs. Giant overhead slam hits for 414 damage, that is about 41% of our health bar. Fire attack strikes twice and damages us for 742, which is about 74%. Now we are going in with Confessor armor, same attributes and the light load. Point is to equip any armor as long as it doesn't go into medium load. Overhead slam hits for 343 and that is about 34% of total HP. Fire attack hits for a total of 658 damage, which is around 66%. Heavier armor test, in this case Radan with same stats and no buffs. Overhead smash hits us for 267, which is about 27% of total health. Fire attack hits for 612 and that is about 61%. Time to test light versus heavy with 50 strength and 50 intelligence. As I said earlier, those two stats affect physical and elemental defense. With Confessor armor we have these stats. Overhead smash hits for 325, which is 32.5%. Fire attack hits for 642, which is about 64%. Fifty strength and fifty intelligence with Radan armor. Overhead smash hits for two hundred and fifty-two, which is about twenty-five percent. Fire attack does five hundred and ninety-eight damage, which is about sixty percent. Conclusion is that investing into strength and intelligence for defensive purposes is not worth it. Now we are going to add physical damage negation talisman, fire negation talisman, golden vow buff and opaline heart air from wondrous physic that reduces elemental damage. Confessor armor first. Overhead smash does 313 damage which is about 31%. Fire attack does 440 damage, which is 44%. Now Radan armor with same buffs and talismans. Overhead smash hits for 243 and that takes us to about 24%. Fire attack hits for 204, which is about 20%. Now we go to results. Pause to read in detail. 
My thoughts from these tests are that stacking physical defense through talismans and buffs is not worth it, but it is worth stacking elemental defense. What are your thoughts? Note that some armor pieces offer additional boosts, for example, Raptor Feather Chest increases jump attack damage, Scarab Helmet decreases FP use when casting, but increases damage taken, and so on. Let's talk about Poise now. What is Poise? Poise is value that is affected mostly by armor and it prevents player getting staggered or knocked down during hit. As far as I understand, there are three versions of impact. One, no stagger at all when hit, meaning we can continue walking or attacking normally. Two, staggered, which nullifies any sort of action and prevents making any other action during stagger recovery. Three, knocked down, which means you get knocked the fuck out. What do you want me to say? It's that simple. So how poise works? There is invisible poise meter that works same as stamina, health and FP bars. So like poise health bar. Poise value is poise resistance, which means any hit you take is going to do reduced poise damage depending on poise value. Below certain poise threshold, meaning if you get hit many times and poise health drops below certain number, every hit will stagger no matter the resistance. Or think of it this way to make things more clear. Poise value indicates total poise health. When poise health goes to zero, everything staggers. So how does that poise meter is set? Every 30 seconds of not getting hit, poise meter is reset, and every time you attack, portion of poise meter is recovered, even if you don't hit anything. Every weapon in the game does certain poise damage. Rule of thumb is heavier the weapon, more poise damage it does. It also depends on enemy type and heavy attacks that deal more poise damage than light ones. Daggers do least poise damage, while huge weapons are very difficult to poise through. That means in most cases you can tank with enough poise through one hit, but second hit will at least stagger, with some knocking you down. Poise values for different weapon types are something like this. It is good idea to increase these numbers by 10% to be safe, because wielding weapon with two hands increases poise damage by 10%. Bull Talisman and Bull Armor raise poise to over 130. This means we can always negate one hit at least, no matter what weapon hits us, and that we can tank two hits before getting staggered against most weapons that aren't huge or colossal. And your Ash of War changes things because it boosts poise significantly while reducing damage taken for a couple seconds. With Endure you can tank almost any one hit. Hyper Armor is active poise, unlike passive poise we explained earlier. It means essentially upon using some ashes of war you won't get staggered at all. Lion's Claw and Wild Strikes are few of many ashes of war that grant Hyper Armor. Haven't tested spell casting, but I would assume while casting certain spells Hyper Armor could occur. In case of Ash of War, Hyper Armor character poise value doesn't matter. Anyway, that is all for this video, make of it what you will. I think armor matters, but stacking lots of poise or physical defense is not worth it. Elemental damage reduction is definitely worth it, and the fact that some armor pieces come with stat boosts, additional resistances and other benefits. In my opinion, most efficient way to play is to have poise between 55 and 80 with light or medium load. If you want to go with heavy defense and poise over 100 while still retaining medium load, something like this setup could be good for you. Thanks for watching this incredibly boring video to make. So glad I'm done with it. If it helps any of you, it was worth it. Check out the description for Patreon and Subscribestar links if you want to help the channel further and stay tuned for more content.